While I love living in the Fort Walton Beach Emerald Coast area, not everything is always sunshine and rainbows. All places have their pros and cons. I'm gonna go over some items of interest that just might make some people decide that they would never want to live here. We'll start this conversation like a lot of conversations start, and that is talking about the weather. If you like snow skiing, ice skating, snowmobiling and the like, this is not the place to be. That one's obvious, of course. Although it has snowed here a little bit, about once every 10 years since I've been here, and we do get below freezing temperatures a handful of times each winter. Aside from the temperature being around 90 degrees during the day from June through August, it's more so the humidity that makes you feel kind of gross. If you just happen to shower before going out to eat or to a bar that's outside, that shower will be canceled out very shortly after spending a little time outdoors in the heavy humidity. The humidity breaks usually around the end of September, beginning of October. And here's the big one, hurricanes. Hurricane season can be very stressful. It's actually the number one thing I personally don't like about living here. While they're always getting better at predicting their path, it's still not an exact science. Years ago, I stayed for a hurricane that wasn't supposed to be real strong, and then it really ramped up just before it hit landfall. It was too late to evacuate, and it was far more than I was prepared to go through. I'll admit, it was scary. Other times, a hurricane is tracked to come right at you, you evacuate, and then it veers off before it hits land and you come back home just to find a few small branches came down and some leaves blew around. Of course, you are very thankful that that was the extent of your damage. Hurricane season starts June 1st and ends November 30th. It seems that the more powerful storms tend to be more towards the end of hurricane season. Regardless of when they come, it's no fun. Tourists, crowds, and traffic. Tourism is a big part of our economy and we love them, but there's a big difference here between tourist season and the rest of the year. Depending on what area you're driving in, a trip that would normally take you 15 or 20 minutes in the off season could easily be doubled or tripled during tourist season. And for some reason, tourists drive like they don't know this area. Joking, of course, I know we all do this when we're in unfamiliar territory. But you need to be prepared for unannounced lane changes, quick stops and turns, and even drivers being mesmerized by the beauty of this area and causing an accident. Trying to find a parking spot downtown during this time can be quite challenging. Do you like big city life? Well, you're not gonna find it here. While our downtown area is quaint and has its own charm, we don't have a bunch of high rises and office buildings. There's only about 21,000 people in Fort Walton Beach, so we don't need all that. If you like walking around the mall and seeing what all the stores have to offer, you're not gonna find much of that here. Our small mall has been in decline for a while now, like a lot of malls, and the big anchor stores are gone. We do have a lot of the big box stores here, but no amazing mall or big shopping centers to peruse here. What about insects? Well, there's two of them here that really bug me. There are a lot of mosquitoes here during the summer, and I'm the person that seems to get bit first in a group of people. Maybe I have special blood or smell funny. I don't know why, but they are really annoying especially when you have your hands full and hear that distinct buzzing sound coming right at your ear. The other one is the dreaded palmetto bug. If you haven't seen one of these before, they look like a roach on steroids. They don't do anything to hurt us, no stinging, no biting, but man, they are unsettling, especially when they get into your house. Fortunately, they don't infest a place like the common German cockroach. They just kind of wander in, maybe under a door or a window or some crack looking for water. Next thing you know, the family is freaking out because there's a gigantic roach on the wall. And they are fast, and they have a superpower that they rarely use, but they can even fly short distances, especially when they feel that they are in danger. They're tough and can be hard to kill. I always try to spray them first with bug spray. That way if I miss or don't hit them hard enough with the fly swatter, I know it will be dying soon anyway from the spray. And when you do hit them hard, it can be a gross mess to clean up. Let's talk about the beach and what you might not like about that. If you don't like getting sand on and in everything, that's a place you will not want to go to. There are a lot of rules at the beach, some enforced more than others. One of those rules is no animals on the beach, except for service animals, of course. So if you were thinking of bringing your dog and running around the beach and jumping into the waves, it's just not allowed here. We rarely have shark attacks here, but there are sharks in those waters, probably a lot more than you would think. 
you're far more likely to be stung by a jellyfish, which is bearable, but rather unpleasant. Restaurants. There are a lot of restaurants here, both chain restaurants and local family-owned restaurants with delicious selections. If your diet is a little different than most and you prefer not to eat meat or dairy, your options are limited here. There is no vegan restaurant in Fort Walton Beach as of this recording. Most places will have a vegetarian or vegan option, but again, a very limited selection. There is one vegan food truck in the area and it's really good. It's called Plant-Based Wellness Consumer. I'll put a link to their Facebook page down in the description. Do you like holding the newspaper in your hands and getting caught up on the local news? Well, we have one here, but it's more like a news pamphlet that's been taken over by USA Today. The paper got to be so few pages, I thought part of it was missing when I picked it up. I'm guessing this is happening in most markets with them steering us towards digital descriptions, which is what I did do to have some idea of what's going on in the area. Do you love filing and paying state income tax? If so, definitely do not move here. Florida is one of a handful of states that has no state income tax. Of course, they find other ways to get your money, but filing state income tax yearly is not one of them. As I'm sitting here editing this video, something occurred to me that I left out of the initial recording because of something I heard, and that is the sounds of low-flying aircraft. As you probably know, we have a big military presence here with Aegon Air Force Base, Herbert Field, Duke Field, a lot of military training, and that involves a lot of sounds or noise. So there will be, you'll hear low-flying aircraft. You'll hear the aerial gunships doing their thing. So it's usually within normal waking hours, but it just, it might be too much for some people. You get used to it and we love our troops and everybody that has served. We just call this the sound of freedom. I'm Michael Pancher, your Emerald Coast Area Realtor. If you'd like to know more about any specific community or the local market, feel free to contact me. All my information is down below in the description. There's even a link to book time for a Zoom call or a phone call. And for you locals, we have some great strategies to help you net the most when selling. Here's another video to check out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.